Right, so after a count up, we're actually 50 pound up at the moment. And we've got another 250 to pay for it, so we'll see what happens. And bro. We're going to play it to, skin, to we're skinned. So either we could be £500 down without getting triple sevens rolling, or we will. You can actually lose 500 quid in one of these without even seeing the sevens. Just, these are the most common wins, them two are the most common wins. I think I've done 400 in one of these once, my biggest loss. quicker this section because I'm not going to keep stopping the video to load more credits in. <clears throat> Actually set the heater up now so it blows onto me because it's freezing. See the sacrifices I make for my videos. Um, some of you actually wonder like, you'll, you'll, most of you know that I do this for a living but you don't seem to realise that most of the videos where I'm actually going to a bookies and I'm long time I'm actually losing money to go and do that. My my channel costs me money to run. I I do it because I like to do it. It's a bit of fun. I don't do it to go oh look at me how fucking brilliant I am on fruit machines. It is look at some of the wins you can get and accept the losses. It is gambling um, when you go to bookies. It's, oh you must be skint. You're playing 20p. Oh god. I've still got one of the machines in my garage, mate. If I was skinned, these would, you know, I'd get fucking shot at these things first thing. I don't even play them. I'm playing 20p for a reason. Because I'm playing for the crack. Bookies want you to max bet. Because over your lifetime, they'll make more money out of you. Just think how much money they make on someone who doesn't play at all. Who has one press and never plays again. Pennies. So if you're going to gamble and you like to gamble, just accept it. And go in and play the minimum bet. Get used to it. Because it's not... The size of the once you get over the fact of you're not going to win playing them games, you are not going to win long term. You'll win one day, but you're going to always going to lose. Once you realise and accept it, that's when you can walk in and go, "I'm going to play 20p a day and see what happens." Or 50p. 50p is quite fun. You know, you can get 100 pound, 150. You can lose 100 quid still. Of course you can. But fuck me, on two pound, after, oh, you've seen it, four grand after then to win a silver pot? Fuck that. I'm gonna do that again. But you can also do a thousand pound in one, in an hour, or two hours. It is fun to max bet sometimes, but not, I don't really on any slots now. Medium. Sit in the middle. Oh, minimum bet. Because I'm only playing it for fun. And I don't I don't do this channel to make money. I don't do it to try and make people gamble. I'm not earning nothing off you going to play some in your bookies down the road, am I? I do it just it, it's a bit fun for me I don't do all the special effects and like crap edit for hours on end because if you don't want to subscribe don't you know it's, I'm not going to beg you to subscribe you either like watching some fruit machine videos or you don't you either got an interest in them or you haven't it's a bit sad really it is I know it is don't tell me about it 
I'd rather be a rocket scientist. Something wrong, <laughs> I had to save the planet, I had to cure cancer. I'd rather do that than have an interest in the fruit machines. But... What makes you all tick, innit? We've all got an interest in life. Some people train spot. Good for them. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect fucking football cards or stickers. I like session out fruit machines because I find it amazing how people design these. You know, people. If someone designed that, you know, or that complicated machine, or that complicated machine there, then some geezer come up with a nice, simple idea like this, and it was the most, one of the most popular machines ever made in England, because it gives you something to chase. They are something to chase. I'd love Bellfruit to actually come and talk to me about how why they design machines so badly now. Or Reflex. I've been to visit them. They actually tried to do something, and then they give up with that, went back to making shit machines again. Tacky looking, bad designed basic play. I mean, they released a machine called Let's Get Jack Pied. They have play testers at Reflex. They do have play testers there. And not one of them come across with, you can pay £60 for a board for no reason. You know. Fuck it. That does shit like that. They fixed it. Same company, though. Oh, they let a Money Man Martians take 150 quid for a win. Oh, yeah. They do. That's okay, though. In an arcade. Don't get it. Explain that to me. Now, make machines with a bit of thought in them, yeah, fine, but Betcoms, you all know about Betcoms. Same fucking machines. Everyone they release. Just prove suppliers don't test nothing. They don't check nothing when they buy them, they just buy anything, don't they? Because they don't even realise that for the past 12 machines they've bought, they've all been exactly the same, just with different bl fucking glass on them. But hopefully they'll change their ways now they've got a bit of money behind them, a bit of market share. They might start investing a bit more into a different kind of game designs. Who knows? They should. If they don't, it'll be a shame. That's my view on it anyway. I'm not asking for playable machines. I'm not asking for, <clears throat> you know, just, just machines that can, you know, every now and then you can win on them. If you sort of know what you're doing. That's the whole point of a pub machine. Look after the people that are prepared to put all the money in them. why fruit machines are there aren't they because people have been prepared to put money in them you take the reason to put money in them away then you fucking moan when uh, people don't want to play them anymore <coughs> oh my throat is so bad This is eating fruit. We're about halfway through a 250. Ice gaming, I think it's ice next week. So I'll probably go to that. I think I'm going to that. Have a look what new machines are coming out. Have a laugh at all the insulting shit pub for machines they've designed at the moment. They keep insulting us with. You could say the jackpot is too big, it is a bit too big for a pub, but they have made some good machines on a hundred. But it's because most of them come from when they were fucking £70 jackpots. I just upgraded them. Hundreds now are just insulting some of them. How badly they can eat you. If you don't give anyone an advantage, if you don't let anyone try and find an advantage on a machine, they'll give up trying. They've got to feel like they've got an advantage to keep coming back. Do you not get that? You know, that. If it's happy, it will give you a super feature. If you know how to get the super features, you will keep playing because you feel you've got an advantage. Your mind will want you to keep playing it another day. But if you keep playing it and going, this is the same old shit, I'm just getting mugged off, mugged off, mugged off, eventually you get to the stage where you go, I'm not going to play anymore. 
I know landlords that are moaned because they go, well, they used to play the fruit machine, now they sit at their, on, the, on their phone in the pub gambling online. And they go, like, why? Because because the machine's shit. You never win out of it because they've got a terrible reflex in there. That's what reflex don't realise, that long term they're ruining that industry. Short term they're getting their fucking units sold. Long term, people lose all the trust. It's like short term Mercedes making a load of cheap cars. Yeah, they all sell because people go, fucking you can buy a Mercedes for 15 grand. No one's reviewing it, no one can review it. You have to just buy it. And then six months down the line, everyone's going, the fucking shit car, I sold it or I don't drive it, I got rid of it, you know. No one wants to buy them. Same thing as no one wants to play them. People won't be insulted for forever. This thing must still be paying out because it's not full. It might be paying out still a little bit, but... It is sucking it back, I think. I think it is slowly having it back. Because it was £50 up, weren't we, so... There we are. Thought it weren't far off full again. Don't do it. I say don't go wrong. That wind me up. Might go wrong because that uh, hopper I think is overfilled. So <laughs> should be out a whole three hundred quid though. I mean, selling bar quests, you can overfill them to about four hundred. Yes. Oh, that was the wife. And as you lot know, when the wife calls, you go. Got a new, a new sofa delivered today. So we need one. Having a whole kitchen redone as well. There's all sorts going on at the moment. And we're redoing the living room. Just trying to organise two holidays. Bought a new car two weeks ago. Got another car for sale, getting rid of that. Still got the Scooby-Doo though. Still got that. So when this all goes, Jesus, we've gone through this quick. This could be a rolling. Roll. So here's where you'll be in an arcade and it run out of money. Again? No! phone up again. Fuck my phone all, dropped it a few weeks ago. Just dropped it, straight on the road. Smashed all the screen, all the glasses split. Gotta get a new phone. S7, Edge. 200 quid for a screen or 300 quid for a phone. Mad in it. Should I have a screen protector? I got a case, but it doesn't not very good and it's just a case. Never broke a screen before in my life. Always been really lucky on that. And I'll drop phones loads, but they've always landed on the back or you know, just not broke. I'm like, hey.
swirl. That's what's left out the 250 we've got to put in it. We have got money in the bottom. <coughs> Might even still be up. I don't know if these start happy, so they might start happy from reset. Some machines are designed to, some aren't. I'm glad football fever works in there. That is good. I'd like to change the jackpot on it. Barking back in the house. Yeah. Start counting these coins. Right, so with that there, and that pound, right, and this here, after 500 quid, 50 pound down at the moment, so we'll start again, gonna take all that out, we're gonna start again. <laughs> 